Hi, I'm Alex, and I just got my hands on the new ScanSnap iX100. I'm a busy college student, and I rarely use my computer when I'm outside the house, so it was important for me to find a scanner that connects to my iPhone when I'm everywhere else. I got the iX100 because it's wireless and battery-powered, and allows me to connect to my iPhone so that I can scan when I'm beyond the network of any known Wi-Fi. So, let's get the scanner unboxed. Right off the bat, you will get some documentation and a DVD. The DVD has the software to install on the computer, so I won't be needing that. There is also a getting started guide and some other documentation. Underneath that, you will find the scanner and an included USB cable. Okay, let's take a quick look at the getting started guide first. Okay, computer, don't need that. Smart device, that's what I'm looking for. It looks like I need to power on the scanner, turn on the Wi-Fi switch, and download the ScanSnap Connect application. Let's go ahead and do that now. Turning the scanner on is pretty simple. Just open the feed guide. Since the iX100 is battery powered, the scan button will turn blue. Now we'll go ahead and turn on the Wi-Fi switch on the back of the scanner. After that, the Wi-Fi indicator will start blinking and turn orange. Now I need to download the ScanSnap Connect application, in my case, from iTunes, but I could also get it for Android and Kindle too. When I first launch the ScanSnap Connect application, I'm asked to select the scanner model to connect to. I have the iX100, so I'll select that. Now I need to connect to the scanner's built-in Wi-Fi. I'll do that now. The scanner's Wi-Fi information is listed on the back of the iX100 here. Okay, so I need to change the Wi-Fi network on my iPhone to connect to my iX100 and... Ah, there it is. Now I'll enter the security key printed on the back of my scanner, and it's case sensitive. My mobile device should remember the security key on its own from now on. Now I'll relaunch my ScanSnap Connect app and click Next. The app will begin looking for the scanner, and once it's found, I need to enter the password from the back of the scanner. Once I've entered the password, the ScanSnap Connect app will remember it from now on. I can see that the scanner is directly connecting to iX100 when this Wi-Fi indicator turns green and I'm ready to scan when the scan button turns bright blue in the app. To initiate a scan, I can either press the scan button on the iX100 or I can press the scan button on the app. Once the first document is done scanning, I can insert the next one and the scanner will continue scanning. To end a scanning session, I simply press the scan button on the iX100. Once I'm done scanning, I want to close the feed guide to turn the iX100 off to conserve battery power. So now that everything is set up for the first time, let's see how it works. I open the feed guide to power on my iX100. My mobile device discovers the iX100 network automatically because I'm beyond any other recognized Wi-Fi networks out here in the world. Then I launch my ScanSnap Connect app. The scan button turns blue, and I'm ready to scan. The ScanSnap iX100 is perfect for someone looking for a compact battery-powered scanner that can be used anywhere.